Oh, good morning, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, I decided, you know what? I haven't had this in like a decade. So I'm having OJ and a sausage and egg and cheese McGriddle and two hash browns. And I don't care what anyone says. So there. Mm. I decided I was in the mood to have one. I want to treat myself. And I'm allowed to do that once in a while. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so it's breakfast time. Yeah, we got the kettle uh, on and ready and going. We got this. We're watching a little bit of TV. Well, at right. And and see, we're just outside here. Well, it's the McDonald's end, but we're at a pilot. So, yes, we are. So we're having breakfast. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good morning, boys and girls. All right, so we made it up here to the Michigan Welcome Center. And it would appear my air does not want to work. And I don't mean air conditioning. I mean my air buildup. So you can see we're down below 90, probably what, about 70, give or take, no, 80. Now it may start building up again, because if you shut the truck off for about five minutes, and it starts to work again. See, now it's starting to build again. Now it'll build. And if I drive about five miles, between five and ten miles, all of a sudden it'll stop working. And the fan will like come on and just stay on. and So something's sucking the air out and then making the governor not work. I don't know. See, now here the sad part is, I'm five miles from a T8. I'm old school. I will nurse it and get it to that T8, to the garage. But the company's saying, no, stay where you are. Like, they wanted me to stop. I made the mistake of calling them while I was driving. On my Bluetooth. And they say, oh, you got to stop right now. You're a hazard. I go, well, I'm not going to stop in the middle of a freaking highway. And I'm not stopping on the shoulder where it's dangerous. I said, I'm going to go somewhere safe. I said, the freaking rest area is like a mile and a half up the road. That's where I want. Well, fine. Call us from there. See, the problem is, they'll send a mechanic out. It's working fine. They're not going to see anything wrong. I got to go to the... Anyway, this is going to be an interesting day, I think. Anyways, we're here, like I said. We're at the Welcome Center, right beside I-75. It's turning out to be nice out. Uh, coming through Toledo, the holy old crappy, just before Toledo, a snow squall comes through there, blinding, like you wouldn't believe. And, of course, there was a wreck. Uh, and right before the wreck... Just after the wreck happened, or the emergency vehicles were getting there, because um, everyone's coming to a stop, is when all of a sudden the first time the, the warning buzzer came on. And I pulled off, sat there for like five, ten minutes, and then couldn't figure out what it was. So I started the truck back up, and all of a sudden it worked again. Then I went about like seven, eight miles, and all of a sudden, halfway through Toledo there, you know, it just wouldn't build up again. It was down to like 90 pounds just getting underneath 90 pounds there and I thought okay that's it I found a good wide spot pull over pulled over sat there for 10 minutes then it worked again then I went and started driving because I'm trying to nurse it to get up to here like I said I'm old school right got up to exit 5 just before the scale and it was doing it again and I didn't want to take a chance of you know having to go into that scale just in case and have it you know screw up so I pulled off there waited uh, well, about 5 minutes and it started working again so I figured I'd start driving but this time it didn't hardly go at all. It only got us just before the uh, rest area here, and then it didn't want to work. But now it's working again, and I don't know. It's this is it's going to be one of those days, guys. Now the tow truck has arrived, and we're about to get towed. Yeah, we are. I'm thinking he's got a little camera there that he can see. Not like the days when I was driving a tow truck. Oh, the joy. Yep, we're getting towed.
all about securing your loads. He's got his little emergency bar here. Oh, the joy. Alrighty, we made it to the dealer. A nice Western Star. Jim's towing. And we are on the hook still. We're going to lower it here. And we're going to drive it into the parking lot over here. Alrighty. The joy. boys and girls okay so we're sitting here at the dealer I don't know how much volume or sound you got out of that uh, so yeah so we're sitting here now we wait of course now my uh, yellow triangles back on again I don't know it could be because of the angle from towing it might be uh, we'll shut it off and we'll try to restart there might be uh, the oil because I know the oil is getting low again I'm gonna have to get them to look at that too because it seems to be going through an awful lot of oil here so but I'm not going to do that here because God knows we don't need another extra repair here. So they'll probably get to me after lunch. What time is it? 11.30. So yeah, makes sense. So at night, nope, we'll have lunch ourselves. That's what we're going to do. Hey, let's see if the triangle uh, might not go off because we're sitting here. It might have to reset itself. I'm not sure. Will it stay on? Yep, looks like it's staying on. ABS is staying on too. That's probably from being towed because of the angle. We're not sure. So, alrighty. I gotta call log department now because this freaking thing threw me on duty driving while I was sitting in the tow truck. So, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Yeah. Alrighty, boys and girls, we're fixed and we're over at the truck stop now. We made it to the TA. Ooh, look at that. Big ass sleeper on that sucker. All lit up nice. Alright, well you can see the TA sign over there. Well, you should be able to yeah. see, you can sort of see it there. It's about as best I can do with the zoom, otherwise it gets all blurry. See? 
It's all blurry. Uh, we see. are in the back, back, back. You can't get any further back than what I am right now. I'm like in the mud hole almost. But, and it is only... Uh, you can sort of see it, 716. Okay, so that's just my point. There's only a couple of spaces left in here. I stopped at the pilot up at the exit 18. There was nothing. It was like overflowing. So I kind of raced, you know, southward to here because I knew this is my only other choice. Actually, the repair shop was here in Monroe, Michigan, but it was on the other side. So I took the back streets and it was quicker to come out by, you know, exit 18 there. There was nothing there, so I, you know, boogied on down here and, you know, lo and behold, not a whole lot of space is left. There's a couple blind siders there that normally I could do, but it's just been one of those days I figured, you know what, I'm not going to take the chance. Uh, I mean, I would have got out a hundred times to, to look and everything, but I figured, you know what, why bother? I'm just too tired. To, uh, such a wasted day today. There was a couple right here on the back road. There, all I had to do was, you know, pull a UE swing around. And I was all right. So, that's what I did. And, uh... There's, uh, I think, two more spots back here. There's two way over there. Oops, sorry. I know, it's hard to see. All righty, kitties. That's it. That's all for today. We've got uh, dinner all done here. Chicken Alfredo. We're going to have some applesauce for dessert. And the secret word for today, second last day, I believe, if I'm correct, and the word is cat scale. Yes, sir, cat scale, as in the scales that we get weight on, yeah, so cat scale. Alrighty, guys, that's it, that's all for today. It's been an adventurous day, to say the least. I got hardly anything done, uh, but the truck is fixed, and uh, so we should be good to go in the morning. Alrighty, we'll see you tomorrow. Be good, be safe.